and today we're going to take a look at the Sony a7C, the pocket rocket full frame mirrorless camera from Sony released in 2020. Now before we dive into the review, let's take a minute to appreciate the name. A7C sounds like it could be the name of the new Audi or something, but it's not. It's a camera and I'm here to tell you all about it. So what's the deal with the Sony a7C? It's a compact full frame mirrorless camera that really packs a punch in terms of its features. It's got a 24.2 megapixel sensor, 4K video recording, and has a fully articulating screen with touch focus. It's also got that Sony autofocus that everyone raves about and we personally love. So let's talk about the design. The Sony a7C looks like a cross between a retro DSLR and a modern mirrorless camera, which is actually kind of refreshing. It's not too big, it's not too small, and it feels really solid in my hand. However, there is one thing that bothers me, the viewfinder. The position of the viewfinder on the left of the camera actually works perfectly when you consider adding an external mic. However, there is a bit of an adjustment period if you're used to cameras with the viewfinder in the middle. The problem with the viewfinder, however, is its quality. It's okay at best. If you're a photographer that exclusively uses the viewfinder to capture images, you will struggle with this body. However, the fully articulating screen has 921,600 dots, which well makes up for any quality issues with the viewfinder. All right, let's take some photos and see how this thing performs. Wow, these look really good. The colors are vibrant, the details are sharp, and the autofocus is fast. And the flip out screen is a game changer for shooting videos. I can see myself while I'm recording, which is great for framing shots and making sure I'm in focus. Plus, it makes me feel like a real YouTuber. All right, let's get serious for a moment. The a7C is not cheap. Currently, you can buy the body for about 2,300 Australian dollars. However, you can go looking at secondhand shops and pick up the body with a kit lens for about $1,800. It is a lot of money for a camera, but if you're serious about photography and videography, it is well worth the investment. Plus, you can always sell a kidney if you have to. Okay, let's wrap this up with some pros and cons. Pros, great image quality, 4K video recording, fast autofocus, a flip out high quality touchscreen, and it looks really cool. Cons, the viewfinder isn't that good and it is a little bit pricey. Overall, I'd say the a7C is a big winner in our books. It's small, compact, light, and it's full frame. You honestly can't beat it. Just don't forget to bring your kidney selling kit if you're gonna go buy it brand new. That's it for today, folks. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about the a7C, make sure you put them in the comments below and stick around for any future videos we have as we explore more features about the a7C, how we use it and what it looks like in action. See you next time.